Lafferty is in, rips his shot, stop on the rebound, Johnson, he scores! On the ice, they say he was outstanding. Off it, an incredible person. Adam Johnson, number 47 of the Nottingham Panthers, lost his life in the most unexpected way possible, playing the sport he lived for. In the second period of their game against Sheffield Steelers on Saturday, a freak accident saw the 29-year-old American suffer from a slashed neck by a skate. He was later pronounced dead in hospital. Johnson had only joined the Panthers earlier this year, but even in his short time at the club, he was clearly already a much-loved teammate. Outside their home arena, the grief amongst players and staff of what happened to one of their own in front of their eyes was all too evident. Guys, we really appreciate all the support and all the tears and all, all the love, absolutely. You know, our heart breaks with all of yours. And we, we just want you to know that, that we're all grieving this together. All day, flowers, messages, support kept pouring in. Hazel was at the game in Sheffield and says watching what happened is something she'll never forget. I just saw the blood on the ice and then saw him try to skate towards the team bench and then he just went down and then things just happened and you knew it wasn't good. It's just a bad dream I want to wake up from. Um, and I just, I just want someone to pinch me and wake me up. Nottingham versus Sheffield, billed as the greatest rivalry in British ice hockey. But today, that was all put to one side. But Johnson's death didn't just touch hockey fans. At Hillsborough, home of Sheffield Wednesday, football supporters pay tribute to. When the grief eventually subsides, the governing body of professional ice hockey, which is clearly loved by so many, will no doubt have to look at the safety of the game. This was an unusual incident, but it's one which could change the landscape of this sport. People will talk about um, neck guards and protectors, and that's, you know, that's going to come to the forefront yet again of discussions, I'm sure. For now, though, the hockey family have been rocked. Whatever team, in whatever country, people around the world are grieving for a death so sudden, so shocking and so brutal. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News, Nottingham.